ಸದಾಶಿವಸಮಾರಂಭಂ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಮಧ್ಯಮ ಅಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಪರ್ಯಂತ ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪರಂಪರ ಶ್ರುತಿ ಸ್ಮೃತಿ ಪುರಾಣ ಆಲಯ ಕರುಣಾಲಯ ನಮಿ ಭಗವತ್ಪಾದ ಶಂಕರ ಲೋಕಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಕೇಶವಂ ಬಾದರಾಯಣ ಸೂತ್ರಭಾಷ್ಯಕೃತ ವಂದೇ ಭಗವಂತ ಪುನಃ ಪುನಃ ಈಶ್ವರೋ ಗುರುರಾತ್ಮೇತಿ ಮೂರ್ತಿಭೇದ ವಿಭಾಗಿನೇ ವ್ಯೋಮವ್ಯಾಪ್ತೇಹಾಯ ಸಹನಾಭವತು ಸಹ ನೌಹುನಕ್ತು ಸಹ ವೀರ್ಯಂಕರವಾವಹೈ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿನಾವಧೀತಮಸ್ತು ಮಾ ವಿದ್ವಿಷಾವಹೈ ಏ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತ ಶಾಂತ ಶಾಂತಿ ಧಾತು ಬ್ರಹ್ಮೈವ ಸಂಪ್ರೋಕ್ತ ಜೀವ ಆಖ್ಯಾತ ಮುಚ್ಯತೆ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ಕೃತ್ಸಂತಾದಿರ್ ಧಾತು ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾತ್ಮನೇ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪರೋ ವ್ಯಕ್ತ ದಂಡ ಮೌವ್ಯಕ್ತ ಸಂಭವಂ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಭಾಷ್ಯಕರ ಗಿವ್ಸ್ ಅ ಲಾಂಗ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೋಡಕ್ಷನ್ which is summing up the connection between the uh, fourth chapter and the fifth chapter via uh, the summary of the earlier chapters what has gone by so first he sums up the fourth chapter and then corrects it saying karmanya karmanya karma yah pashe iti arabhya having begun with karmani akarma yah pashe one who would see karma in a karma and we have seen that elaborately we have seen the bhashya also iti arabhya beginning there sa yuktah krishna karma krut sa yuktah krishna karma krut in the same shloka it is said one who sees yathartha jnana one who has yathartha jnana as to atma does not have any karma and all karma is happening in the in the sharira having association with that karma if one is withdrawing then he is taking himself to be karta bhukta and thereby even withdrawing there is karma even in withdrawal from karma there is karma for that ajnani but one who knows this yathartha jnana sah yuktah krishna karma krut he is a yogi and he has as though attained everything because he he is on the path of moksha and kramena he will get moksha jnana agni dagda karmanam and this person is called as jnana agni dagda karmanam one who has jnana through the jnana roop agni this person is has all his karmas burned all his karmas there we saw all three karmas except the prarabdha the other two go away all three in the sense the we have seen the, the example as to the karma done in earlier lives the karma done in this life before jnana utpatti and after jnana utpatti those three are burned through jnana agni shariram kevalam kevalam karma kurvan doing karma which is only for the mere maintenance of the body sarva ya yadrichha labha santushtah and yadrichha labha santushtah meaning one who gives and to prarabdha he follows only what comes circumstantially due to prarabdha and he is happy with that brahma arpanam brahma vihi and then we saw this mantra also that brahma arpanam brahma he sees everything as brahma karma jan vidditan sarvan so that is jnana yajna and then karma jan vidditan sarvan all other yajnas other than this jnana yajna all other yajnas are having their source in karma karma jan vidditan sarvan all the yajnas sarvam karmaakhilam partha he partha all this entire karma sarva karma so in this shloka we saw jnanagni sarva karmani and the bhasma sat purute it burns away all karma yoga sanyasya karmanam so yoga sanyasya karman also we see saw in detail ityetehi vachanaihi ityetehi vachanaihi sarva karma sanyasam avochata bhagavan all this is talking about what it is the stuti of jnana and then in the in the set of uh, yajnas which are shown and then what is shown is the division between 
karma, karma yoga and jnana yoga. And then it is shown that ityetehi vachanehi sarva karma sanyasam avochata bhagavan. Bhagavan has talked about avochata. He talked about sarva karma sanyasam. He has talked about renunciation of all karma through these shlokas. And then in the end, last shloka he said, Chitvenam Samshem Yoga Matishtha. Having, then he, what did he say? He talked about Sarva Karma Sanyasa, but then again, Chitva Enam Samshayam Yoga Matishtha. So he told him to, he told Arjuna to follow yoga, Karma Yoga. Again, the same confusion now for Arjuna, because in this third chapter also, second and third chapters, what he had taught is karma sanyasa and karma yoga jnana yoga sankhya and karma yoga he was not sure as to what should i follow now even at the end of the fourth chapter arjuna has the same question or a similar question therefore chitva enam samshayam yoga matishtha he has told him to follow yoga ityanena vachanena yogancha karma anusthana lakshanam anutishtha ityuktavan then he also said that you follow this yoga. What kind of yoga? Karma Anushthana Lakshanam. Where you have to practice karma, not give this up, not renounce those karmas. Thereby, Tayoho Ubhayoscha Karma Anushthana Karma Sanyasa Yoho Siti Gativat Paraspara Virodhat Ekena Sahakartum Ashakyatvat. Therefore, what is the situation now? Both have been talked about. Karma Yoga has been talked about and Karma Sanyasa has been talked about. Therefore, between those two now, Tayoho Ubhayoscha Karma Anushthana Karma Sanyasa Yoh Stiti Gati Vat Paraspara Virodha. There is a mutual contradiction between them. You cannot, like Stiti and Gati, you cannot be standing still and moving at the same time. Since there is mutual contradiction between karma anushthana and karma sanyasa, therefore, ekena sa kartum ashakyatvat. It is not possible to be done by the same person, but there can be a, an understanding that it can be done by the same person, but at different times. Simultaneously, it cannot be done. Therefore, he says, kala bhedena cha anushthana vidhana abhavat. He has not taught that you follow karma yoga now. And then later you can take sannyasa. He has not said that. Krishna has nowhere mentioned that right now you follow this and later we can see whether you can take sannyasa. He has not mentioned that. Therefore, kala bhedena, even if it is possible, ekena sahakartum ashakyatva, together one cannot do at the same time. But kala bhedena shakyate eva, but kala bhedena cha anushtana vidana se abhava. It has not been taught in none of these chapters it has been mentioned Pratyaksha Bhagavan Krishna has not talked about it therefore Arthat therefore Arthapati Arthat is with an Arthapati Pramana Eta Yoho Anyatara Kartavyata Prapto Satyam Yat Prashasyataram Eta Yoho Karmanushthana Karma Sanyasa Yoho Tat Kartavyam Na Itarat Iti Evam Manyamanaha Prashasyatara Bhubutsaya Arjunaha Uvacha Sanyasam Karmanam Krishna Ityadina so the first shloka says, Sanyasam Karmanam Krishna. Let's, let's look at the shloka, we'll come back to the bhashya here. So Arjuna Uvacho, how does the chapter begin? Sanyasam Karmanam Krishna Punar Yogancha Samsasi Yachreya Eta Yorekan Tanme Bruhi Sunishchitam Sanyasam Karmanam He Krishna Sanyasam karma, Karmanam Sanyasam Punaha Yogancha Samsasi So Karmanam sanyasam shausasi, shausasi is prashausasi, you can add pra, there with pra upasarga you know, prashausa, prashausa is very common in all, all the, many of the Indian languages. So, prashausasi, you are praising yoga, you are talking about karma, karma sanyasa and you are praising uh, yoga also, punaha yoga ncha saushasi, karma yoga. Yat shreya etayor, yat shreya ha, what is the what is Shreya among these two? Same question. He says, what is Shreya among these two? Tanme Bruhi Sunishchitam. You ascertain it and you tell me which is better of the two, which is superior of the two. 
you are talking about both and you are praising yoga and you are asking me to do this but you tell me which is better so this is the question that arjuna has raised between the two which is better which is superior you tell me that assertion it and tell me certainly this is better you make a statement very clearly so far you have not told me clearly what is which is better among the two you have talked about both in detail but you have not told me which is better among the two therefore he says uh, arthat therefore what has happened arthat etayo anyatar kartavyata praptu satya so sati saptami when there is a prapti of kartavyata both can be done anyatar both etayo anyatar kartavyata praptu satya one can be done among the two both can be done both cannot both cannot be done simultaneously they can be done in sequence but in sequence it has not been mentioned by bhagwan krishna as to they have to be done in sequence so uh, two possibilities are there you do it together or you do it in sequence since the sequence is not taught and since together it cannot be done because they are sthiti gativat therefore what only one of the two can be done now since only one of the two can be done yat prashasya taram which is superior prashasya is superior tarak pratyay is there so superior just give me a moment <coughs> <coughs> so which is superior among the two tarap tells you among the two here which is superior etayoho karmanushthana karma sanyasya between the two between these two which two karmanushthana and karma sanyasa between karma yoga and sanyasa which is better which is superior tat kartavyam that should be done i should not do something which is inferior i should take to what is superior na itarata not the other here also you see itara itara not the other so which is inferior that should not be done which is superior should be taken to iti evam manyamanah shanach pratyanta so arjuna who is arjunah manyamanah arjuna uvacha the uh, one who is considering so arjuna who is considering who is thinking so thinking manyamanah what is he considering what is he thinking this i should do which is superior among the two i should either take sanyasa or practice karma yoga but which is better when krishna tells me which is better i'll do that prashasya tara bubutsaya arjuna uvacha so what was the intention behind that thought prashasya tara bubutsa was there through this bubutsaya tritiya ek vachana bubutsa bubutsa is what बोधुम इच्छा बुबुत्सा डिजायरिंग टू नो इच्छा इज इट इज सनंता सनंत धातु बुबुत्सा बुबुत्सा इज बोधुम इच्छा डिजायर टू नो इज बुबुत्सा तया बुबुत्सया विथ द डिजायर टू नो नो व्हाट प्रशस्य तरम प्रशस्य तरस्य बुबुत्सया डिजायरिंग टू नो विथ अ डिजायर टू नो व्हिच इज सुपीरियर अमंग द टू अर्जुन उवाच अर्जुन सेट दिस एंड देन ही आस्ट ही आस्ट दैट्स टू व्हिच अमंग द टू यू आर प्रेजिंग फर्स्ट ही मेड एन एनालिसिस एंड ही सेड दिस इज व्हाट आई थिंक यू आर डूइंग यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट कर्म संन्यासा बट यू आर प्रेजिंग कर्म योगा एज वेल आई डू नॉट नो व्हिच इज बेटर सो यू टेल मी व्हिच इज बेटर अमंग द टू निश्चय सो ही इज सेइंग यू टेल मी इत्यादिना सो थ्रू द फर्स्ट श्लोका ऑनवर्ड्स ही इज making a statement and he is requesting bhagwan krishna to answer and tell him which is better among the two now there is a purva purva paksha to it what is the purva paksha so here it is a, uh, a little complicated in terms of sentences so i'll just explain the idea before we go into the bhashya uh, the purva pakshi says that this question as to which is better among the two which is superior among the two is not tenable why because sanyasa is recommended for one who is a jnani and not for the other so 
so far it is not complicated. What is complicated? Yeah, we'll come to that and I'll explain that a little later. So here, uh, Nanucha, Atma Vidaha Jnana Yogena Nishtam Pratipad, uh, Pratipipadaishan Purva Udavrutaihi Vachanaihi Bhagavan Sarva Karma Sanyasam Avochata. So he, the Purva Pakshi is very clear. He says that uh, Bhagavan is teaching Karma Sanyasa. Bhagavan Karma Sanyasam Avochata. He has talked about Karma Sanyasa. He has taught Karma Sanyasa or talked about Karma Sanyasa through Purva Udavrutaihi Vachani. Through all these uh, statements that you have quoted in the beginning of the Bhashya here in the fifth chapter. Through all the shlokas that you have quoted, which are Bhagavad Vachana, through that, what is Bhagavan teaching? He is teaching Sarva Karma Sanyasa. But for whom this question that uh, is, is very clear, it is clear, Atma Vidaha, for an Atma Vith alone, for a Jnani, not for an Ajnani. So, Atma Vidaha Jnana Yogena Nishtam Pratipipadaishyan. So, here you see the uh, desiring to uh, elaborate or teach what Nishtha. Nishtha through Jnana Yoga. So, Nishtha, for Nishtha, Jnana has to be there. To practice Nishtha, Jnana Yoga is necessary, but for an Atma with. So, one holds on to, one holds on to uh, Atma Tattva only after Shravana Manana through Nididhyasana. And for Nididhyasana, through Jnana Yoga, Nididhyasana which is done, for that Sanyasa is mandatory. So that is what has been taught by Bhagavan. Natu Anatma Jnasya. So for Anatma, uh, Anatma Jnya, Anatma Jnya is one does not, does not have Atma Jnana. For him, Sarva Karma Sanyasa is not being taught by Bhagavan. Therefore, Atascha Karma Anushthana Karma Sanyasa Yoho Bhinna Purusha Vishyatvar Anya Tarasya Prashasya Tarattva Bubutsaya Ayam Prashnaha Anupapannaha. So where is the confusion? He, he is teaching Karma Sanyasa, Sarva Karma Sanyasa for a Jnani. For an Ajnani, he is teaching Karma Yoga. So where is the question of superior among the two? If Arjuna is a Jnani, let him take Sanyasa. If Arjuna is an Ajnani, let him do Karma, uh, karma Anushthana, Karma Yoga Anushthana. So where is the confusion? Therefore, Atascha Karma Anushthana Karma Sanyasa Yo Bhinna Purusha Vishyatva. Since they have to be followed, this Vishaya, it is, it is a subject matter. It is a subject matter for different people. Bhinna Purusha is Ajnani and Ajnani. These are, this is the Bhinna Between two people, one is a Jnani, another is an Ajnani. What is the subject matter of Jnani? It is Jnana Yoga. What is the subject matter of an Ajnani? It is Karma Yoga. What should be their commitment to? So, commitment are very clear. Therefore, Anya Tarasya, between the two, which is better? Prashasya Tarab, Prashasya Tarattva Bhubutsaya. There is a Patha Beda there as Prashasya Tarab Bhubutsaya. Both are okay with an, uh, with an desire to know which is superior among the two. That question itself is not possible. I am Prashna Anupapanna. So your analysis that he is making this question with a thinking, Manyamana, Ityam Manyamana, that I want to know which is superior and that should be followed, not the other. That kind of a thinking is not possible. So the question is untenable. What is asking in the first shloka is erroneous. Arjuna cannot be thinking so. It is wrong. This is the Purva Paksha there. So first Bhagavan Bhashyagara says, yes, according to your perspective, it is right. But according to his perspective view, that is also right. So we, we agree with both perspectives as to what you are saying is right. But you cannot say that uh, in from your angle, the question is not valid, is understand, understandable. But from the questioner's perspective, who has this confusion, since Bhagavan has not made the statement as to which is better or which is for whom, then that kind of a question is valid and we will tell you why it is valid. Satyam, Satyam eva tvadavi prayena prashnaha nau papadhyate. From your angle, maybe the question is not valid. So, it, it is okay because this is your understanding. So, if this is what you have understood that they are Bhinna Purusha Vishya, then 
according to your understanding this question is not valid i agree with it but it is not right that everyone has this kind of understanding and we can't say that your understanding is right and his understanding is wrong and nor can you say that his understanding is wrong and your understanding is right thereby if you have to look from his perspective what has he understood what has bhagwan taught him from that angle if you analyze then his question is tenable we'll explain why how so we'll explain that is prashtu swabhiprayana according to his own perspective whose perspective prashtu prashtas perspective prashtas pers prashtru or prashtas perspective rujan the questioner's perspective who is arjuna from his perspective punaha on the other hand prashna yujyate eva iti vadamah so we say that from his question uh, from his perspective the question is is valid valid it is valid yujyate eva kasam how so puro udahrutaihi vachanaihi bhagavata karma sanyasasya kartavyataya vivakshitatvat pradhanya mantrena cha kartaram tasya kartavyatva sambhavat Uh, so this is a complicated section i'll i'll tell you what is being uh, inquired into now how is it that the questioner's perspective valid is valid arjuna's perspective is valid see bhagwan has taught karma sanyasa as a kartavyata kartavyatvam that one should take sanyasa even the purva pakshi agrees that one should take sanyasa he is being taught by bhagwan the only dispute is who is it being taught for is the sanyasa taught for a jnani or an ajnani but sanyasa is taught as a kartavyatva kartavyata as a kartavyatvam as kartavyam sanyasa should be taken kartavyam is being taught and thereby kartavyata is there so it is a vidhi sanyasa vidhi is being mentioned here thereby whatever is taught as a duty so you say kartavyatva is a duty one it's a duty for one to take to sanyasa if that has been taught then who has a duty who has kartavyatvam only one who is a karta can have a kartavyatvam now the question is the primary meaning of karta cannot accrue to jnani jnani cannot take <coughs> jnani cannot uh, one who has a jnana as i am akarta abhokta then how can he become a karta for sanyasa because it is said sanyasa is kartavyam and kartavyam is possible only when you have kartrutva bhava if you don't have kartrutva bhava how can i how can you take sanyasa thereby atmavit cannot take sanyasa now this is the thinking for right or wrong it is the thinking then what about anatmavit anatmavit considers himself as a karta so if he takes himself as a karta and sanyasa has been talked about as a duty then he can take sanyasa as as his duty he should take sanyasa on the other hand he is also been taught karma yoga thereby for an anatmavit this question is very valid as to should i take sanyasa or should i do karma yoga whichever is superior i can do that so this is the perspective of arjuna as an anatmavit katham so puro udahrutaihi vachanaihi bhagavata karma sanyasasya kartavyataya vivakshitatva since it has been taught as a duty what karma sanyasa since karma sanyasa has been taught as a duty by bhagavan through these arya shlokas which you yourself the bhashyakara has have quoted so Uh, and uh, or rather this is the bhashyakara response so he says what i have quoted what i have quoted which are bhagavad vachana and through that what is seen is that karma sanyasa is a duty kartavyataya vivakshitatva it is intended to be taught as a duty pradhanyam antarena cha kartaram other than karta as a primary karta primary meaning of karta is what one who takes himself as a karta so pradhanyam can be is like an adverbial sense antarena cha kartaram so if you say pradhanya antarena cha there is a difficulty in the patha to it can it is misunderstood and it cannot be read in fact there is a difficulty in understanding unless you take antarena with kartaram kartaram cha antarena 
प्राधान्यतया सो प्राधान्य विल बिकम प्राधान्यतया एज एन एडवर्बियल सेंस सो प्राधान्यतया कर्तारम अंतरेण च तस्य कर्तव्यत्व असंभवा कर्तव्यत्वा असंभवात मीन्स कर्तव्यत्व से असंभवात बिकॉज ही इज वॉट कर्तारम अनलेस अ कर्ता इज देअर कर्तव्यत्व इज नॉट पॉसिबल देअर फोर वॉट अनात्मविद अपी करता पक्षे प्राप्त एज पक्ष एज एन ऑप्शन वॉट इज द ऑप्शन वेदर ही दिस अनात्मविद इज वन ऑप्शन आत्मविद इज अनदर ऑप्शन देर बाय अर्जुना इज लुकिंग एट हिमसेल्फ एज एन अनात्मविद सो फॉर एन अनात्मविद दिस अनात्म अनात्मविद अपी करता अनात्मविद इज अ करता एंड देर बाय पक्षे प्राप्त अनुद्यत एव अनुद्यत एव इज इट इज अप्रूव इट इज इट इज एक्सेप्टेबल दैट अनात्मविद इज करता एंड देर बाय इन एन ऑप्शन दैट अनात्मविद इज अ करता एंड कर्तव्यत्व इज पॉसिबल इट देर इज नो असंभव आ देर देर फोर ही कैन टेक टू संन्यासा और ही कैन फॉलो कर्म योग देर इज अ चॉइस नाउ न पुनः आत्मविद कर्तृकत्व एव संस विवक्षित एंड इट इज नॉट सो एंड इट इज नॉट सो दैट अनात्मविद कर्तृकत्व एव संस विवक्षित इट इज नॉट सेट दैट आत्मविद अलोन शुड टेक संन्यासा Sannyasa is only for a jnani. It is not for an ajnani. This has not been said. It is not in, intended also. There is no intention to convey such idea. Iti eva manvana se Arjuna se. So Arjuna who knows this, that he has understood from the teaching thus far that an atma with and an atma with both may have this possibility, or at least an atma with has a possibility of doing karma yoga or taking sannyasa. Thereby. Thereby, what his thinking is valid. Man, itiyam manvana se arjuna se karma anushthana karma sanyasa yoho avidvat purusha kartrukatam api asti iti purvokte na prakare na tayoho paraspara virodhat anya tarasya kartavyatve prapte sati prashasya tarancha kartavyam na itarat iti prashasya tarav vividishaya प्रश्नः न अनुपन्न इट इज नॉट इनवैलिड इट इज अ वैलिड क्वेश्चन वाई बिकॉज अर्जुन से हु इज थिंकिंग दैट आत्मविद अनात्मविद बोथ हैव पॉसिबिलिटी अनात्मविद डेफिनेटली हैज अ पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ टेकिंग संन्यासा और डूइंग कर्म योगा देर फोर कर्मानुष्ठान कर्म संन्यास हो अविद्वत पुरुष कर्तृकत्व अभी अस्थि सो अविद्वत अविद्वत इज वॉट अविद्वान वन हु इज एन अज्ञान देर फोर ही हैज अ चॉइस पुरुष कर्त अविद्वत पुरुष कर्तृकत्व मीनिंग दी सो हियर देर आर टू वर्ड्स यूज वन इज आत्मविद कर्तृ आत्मविद कर्तृकत्व एंड अदर इज अविद्वत पुरुष कर्तृकत्व सो संस एंड कर्मानुष्ठान आर टू ऑप्शन कर्म योग एंड कर्म संस आर टू ऑप्शन एंड दीज आर फॉर टू डिफरेंट सेट ऑफ पीपल्स नाउ One for a jnani, other for a jnani. So the karma anushthana and karma sannyasa of a jnani and karma karma anushthana karma sannyasa of an a jnani. There are these kind of possibilities now. So he is saying avidvat purusha kartrukatum asti iti. So avidvat purusha kartrukatum means that karma anushthana and karma sannyasa, karma anushthana and karma sannyasa. One of these two or both are possible for an avidvan. So asti iti purvokti na prakare na, as it has been mentioned earlier, as it has been analyzed earlier, tayo ho paraspara virodha and both cannot be done by this ajnani together. So taking the karma anushtan and karma anus karma sanyasa of a jnani or an ajnani. So here is analyzed for an ajnani. an ajnani whether a jnani can do or ajnani can do both cannot do together they cannot do but in the case of an ajnani which arjuna is he is saying that he is thinking that karma anushthana and karma sanyasa cannot be done together by an ajnani although they can be done together they cannot be done <coughs> therefore purvoktena prakarana tayo paraspara virodh there stiti gativat there is a mutual 
opposition between the two, contradictory, they are contradictory, anya tarasya kartavya tve prapte sati. So only one among them can be done, therefore prashasya taram cha kartavyam nai tarata, which we have seen earlier, only which is superior among the two, I would like to do that and not the other, iti prashasya taram vividishaya prashnaha na anupapanna, therefore the question is not untenable, in fact it is valid. प्रतिवचन वाक्यार्थ निरूपणे ना भी प्रस्तुत अभिप्राय है एवं एवं इति गम्यते। Then he says, you look at the answer given by भगवान्। Even from the answer, you can make out that the question is valid। भगवान् gives the answer। What is the answer? प्रतिवचन वाक्यार्थ निरूपणे ना भी। Even through the analysis of the, so निरूपण एनालिसिस of what? वाक्यार्थ। प्रतिवचन वाक्यार्थ। The sentence which is giving an answer, प्रतिवचन। to this question of Arjuna, which among the two is better you tell me and then answer given is what? Katham, thereby also the same idea is known that it is a valid question. Katham sanyasa karma yoga yoga nishkaras karo nishreyasa karo tayostu karma yoga vishishyate. So what is the answer given? In 5.2 you see the answer given by Bhagavan Krishna. So, श्री भगवान उच संस कर्म योग निश्रेयस करागुभव तयोस्तु कर्म संन्यासा कर्म योगो विशिष्य टेलिंग अर्जुन दैट बोथ आर संन्यास एंड कर्म योग बोथ आर वॉट निश्रेयस कर उभौ निश्रेयस करो बोथ आर निश्रेयस कर निश्रेयस कर में निश्रेयस करो करोती निश्रेयस कर बोथ ऑफ दीज आर वॉट निश्रेय निश्रेयस करो means they bring about moksha, how? Sanyasa, after sanyasa, jnana. So, jnana lakshana sanyasa. And then karma yoga, kramena. It brings about chitta shuddhi and then jnana. Through that process, both are leading to the same moksha that we are targeting, which is the purushartha. Tayos to karma sanyasa. However, for you, specifically for you, between these two, which is prasasya kara, Prashasya Tara, Karma Yoga Vishishyate, Karma Yoga is better for you, it is specifically for you, he is saying, for an Ajnani, Karma Yoga is better. So as a general answer, if you look at it as a general answer, between the two, Karma Yoga is better. Then in the Bhashya it is analyzed and even in the Sangati Bhashya also, it has been mentioned as to why it is said to be better. So the answer is what he is saying, karma yoga vishishyate, it is, it is specifically said that karma yoga is better than karma sannyasa. So how can it be said as one is better than the other, whether karma sannyasa or karma yoga, one is said to be better than the other. It is possible only when the question is valid, if the question is not valid, then how can Bhagavan give an answer as to this is better than the other. Thereby also you know that the question is valid. This is the idea uh, which is seen from the answer also. So he says, Prativachana vakyartha nirupane na api prashtuhu avipraya evam evaiti gamyate. You know that the questioner uh, has this idea in his mind. It is very clear and it is a very valid question to have. Katham sanyasa karma yoga uh, nishreya sa karo. So this is... Uh, not uh, Shabdata, he is not quoting, he is paraphrasing. He is saying Sanyasa Karma Yoga, both kar Sanyasa and Karma Yoga, both are Nishriya Sakara and Tayostu Karma Yoga Vishishyate. Karma Yoga is better. Iti Prativachanam. This is the answer. Etat Nirupyam. Now it has to be analyzed. What has to be analyzed? Since one is uh, better than the other, Karma Yoga is better than the then karma sanyasa. Now it has to be analyzed. What is to be analyzed? Etat nirupyam. Kim anena atma with kartru. Kim anena means anena prativachanena. Answer of Bhagavan is a pramana. So Bhagavan Krishna has said that karma yoga is better than karma sanyasa. So now it has to be analyzed. In what context has this answer been given? Is it better for everyone? Is it better for one or is it better for the other? So there are two sets of people here. One is a jnani, uh, or two, not two sets of people, two 
types of people are to be analyzed now jnani and ajnani category whether this has been so therefore three options are possible is it taught for ajnani is it taught for an ajnani or is it taught for both whom is this for whom is this karma yoga better for then karma sanyasa for ajnani for an ajnani or for both so therefore kim anena आत्मवित कर्तृको संस कर्म योग निश्रेयस प्रयोजन उक्वा तयोरे कुतचि विशेषा कर्म संसा कर्म योग से विशिष्ट उच्य है सो ईज इट वेदर सो वन पक्ष इज वॉट अने थ्रू दिस एंसर वॉट इज द एंसर कर्म योग इज बेटर देन कर्म संसा देर फोर नव आत्मवित कर्तृक 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 Sanyasa and Atma with Kartruka Karma Yoga are is possible. Is possible as in theoretically Atma with Atma with Karta. Who is the Karta of Sanyasa or Karma Yoga? Atma with Jnani. So Jnani is Karma Yoga. So in the option of Jnani taking to Sanyasa or Karma Yoga, when that kind of an option is analyzed, then is it said that? sanyas and karma yoga which is either of the two sanyas and karma yoga which are taken by a jnani whether he does karma yoga or whether he takes sanyasa who atma with so the sanyasa is taken by a jnani and karma yoga is done by jnani so this is a possibility so both are nishraya sakara so having said that what is the prayojana of sanyasa and karma yoga prayojana of sanyasa is moksha prayojana of karma yoga is also moksha because both lead to the same goal so iti uktwa he has already said that both are nishraya sakara so if sanyasa and karma yoga are nishraya sakara are they nishraya sakara for an atmavit or for an anatmavit so in the and also what निश्रेस करत्वम प्रयोजनम उक्त्वा हैविंग सेड दैट बोथ लीड टू द सेम गोल तयोर एव कुतश्चित विशेषात एंड हैविंग कंपेयर्ड द टू सन्यासा एंड कर्मयोगा हु सन्यास एंड कर्मयोगा आत्मविद सन्यासा एंड आत्मविद कर्मयोगा हैविंग कंपेयर्ड द टू कुतश्चित विशेषात देयर मे बी सम पर्टिकुलर बेनिफिट एंड देयर बाय कर्म संन्यासात कर्म योग से विशिष्ट उच्य है देर इज अ स्पेसिफिक बेनिफिट ऑफ कर्म योगा और कर्म संन्यासा दिस इज सेट विथ रिगार्ड टू आत्म विथ इन माइंड इज दैट द केस और आहोस विथ और अनात्म विथ कर्तृक यो हो सो आत्मवित कर्तृक फर्स्ट एंड देन अनात्मित कर्तृक सो दिस इज ड्यूअल आत्मवित कर्तृक यो हो संन्यास कर्म योग यो हो और अनात्मित कर्तृक यो संस कर्म योग यो सो दिस संस कर्म योग संस एंड कर्म योग आर क्वालिफाइड बाय द विशेषण ऑफ आत्मवित हियर एंड इन दी अदर पक्ष अनात्मित सो वेदर इट इज द केस ऑफ आत्मवित वेर देर आर टू थिंग्स वन प्रयोजना इज सेम सेकेंड कर्म योग इज बेटर देन sanyasa prayojana of sanyasa and karma yoga is same that is one statement because he has in the same shloka he said what both are nishraya sakara and then he has said one is better than the other although both are nishraya sakara karma yoga is better than karma sanyasa so now whether both have the statement of both being both having the same prayojana and one being the being better than the other karma sanyasa in comparison to karma sanyasa karma yoga is better is it talked about in the case of atma with or anatma with so ahos with or in the other paksha anatma with kartruka yo sanyasa karma yoga yo tad ubhayam uchyate these two things as a prayojana being the same and one being better than the other karma sanyasa is not better karma yoga is better than karma sanyasa so these two things are talked about in with anatma with in mind so uh, whether both will is not needed if the, both these are analyzed this, this case is analyzed 
atma with case is analyzed and anatma with case is analyzed then whether it is a general teaching also can be known iti so this it is what he is saying etat nirupyam it has to be understood it has to be analyzed so now there is a doubt kincha ataha so ataha uh, atascha kim atascha kim bhavati what is the use of this analysis is the doubt now why why should etat nirupyam kimcha atah nirup nirupanena kim bhavati what happens if you analyze this so he says yadi so he is justifying why this analysis definitely needs to be done yadi atmavit kartrukayoho karma sanyasa karma karma yogayoho nishreyasa karatvam tayostu karma sanyasat karma yogasya vishishtatvam uchyate yadi va anatmavit kartrukayoho sanyasa karma yogayoho tadupayam uchyate iti so kincha atha is explained whether it is uh, both of these whether nishreyasa karatvam and karma yoga being better than karma sanyasa is taught in the case of atmavit or it is taught in the case of anatmavit uchyate iti with this analysis what will you get so this is a uh, this is a question as to what is the benefit this is what you are planning to hear bhagwan bashagara said that this has to be done and the doubt raised is that he is saying that this is what you are asking to be analyzed and you are saying it is to be analyzed i am asking what is the purpose of this analysis which analysis this analysis so he is repeating what bhagwan bashagara said as to if this is the case or that is the case what are you going to get it has been said that karma yoga is better than karma sanyasa that's all why should you analyze whether it is better in the case of atmavit and whether both lead to moksha in the case of atmavit or uh, it is said that both lead to moksha in the case of anatmavit and uh, uh, karma yoga is better than karma sanyasa why should you analyze it so the answer given atra uchyate here it is answered आत्मवित कर्तृकयोहो सन्यास कर्मयोगयोहो असंभवात ही सेज दैट इन वन केस इट इज इंपॉसिबल इट इज इंपॉसिबल इन द केस ऑफ अज्ञान इन द केस ऑफ एन आत्मवित इन द केस ऑफ अ ज्ञानी आत्मवित कर्तृकयो सन्यास कर्मयोगो असंभवात ही कैन नॉट डू बोथ ज्ञानी कैन नॉट टेक टू सन्यास और कर्मयोगा it is that option itself is not possible because his karma is karma bhasa tayoho nishreyasa karatto vachanam tadiyaachya karma sanyasat karma yogasya vishishtatva avidhanam ittetat ubhayam anupapannam you cannot say that in the case of an atmavit both will lead to moksha in the case of atmavit karma will not lead to moksha because he is already a jnani he is not a karta he cannot get chitta shuddhi because for chitta shuddhi for karma also there has to be kartrutva bhava so kartrutva bhava has to be brought back which he does not have any more so he has to bring back kartrutva bhava and then he has to take uh, take to karma yoga so therefore you cannot say that in the case of an atma with the nishreyasa kartva vachana is valid for sanyasa as well as karma yoga it is not valid only sanyasa is valid karma yoga is not valid at all because kartrutva bhava is taught we have seen this that kartrutva bhava is there in karma any karma be it karma yoga and tadiyaachya tadiyaachya karma sanyasa from that kind of a karma karma he is own tadiyaat is this uh, atmavit kartruka uh, kartruka uh, kart based on atmavit kartrutva that karma sanyasa and karma yoga which is based on atmavit which is in the case of atmavit karma sanyasa karma yoga se vishtatva vidhanam ityet ubhay manupapanna both are not possible in his case karma yoga cannot be said to be superior nor can it be said to leading to moksha because kartrutva bhava itself is not there यदि अनात्मविद कर्म सन्यास तत्प्रतिकूल कर्मा लक्षण कर्मयोग संभवेता तदा तयो निश्रेयस कर्तोक्ति कर्मयोग से कर्म सन्यास विशिष्टत्वाधान उभयम उपपद्येत एंड 
आत्मविदस्तुसन्यासकर्मयोगयोअसंभवात्तयोहोनिश्रेयसकरत्वाविधानम् कर्मसन्यासाच्च कर्मयोगा विशिष्यते इति च अनुपपन्नम् सो इट इज़ वैलिड इट वुड बी वैलिड ओनली इन द केस ऑफ दी अनात्मविद यदि अनात्मविदह कर्मसन्यासा तत्प्रतिकूलस्च कर्मानुष्ठान लक्षणा Jnani to do karma yoga. Thereby what has happened? That paksha is gone. The only paksha which is left is karma sannyasa and karma yoga of an anatma bit. So yadi and if that is possible you have to analyze. Yadi anatma vidaha karma sannyasa tat pratikulascha karma anushthan lakshanaha karma yoga ha sambhavetam. Karma sannyasa is opposite to karma anushthan lakshana karma yoga ha. And Anatma vidaha sambhavetam. If it is possible in the case of anatma vid, then tada tayoho nishreyasa karatsokti, then saying that both are leading to the same goal, that is valid. And karma yoga secha karma sanyasat vishishtatva vidhanam and also that karma yoga is superior to karma sanyasa, that will also be valid. Only if it is possible in the case of anatmavit, because in the case of atmavit it is not possible. Therefore, tayoho nishreyasa karatto uktihi karma yoga se cha karma sanyasat vishishtatva vidhanam ityetat ubhayam upapadhyeta. Both are possible, would be possible. Atmavidas tu sanyasa karma yoga yo asambhavat since for atmavit this sannyasa and karma yoga both are not possible. Only one is possible. Tayoho nishreyasa karatva vidhanam karma sannyasa cha karma yoga vishishyate iti cha anupapannam. It is untenable in the case of atma. It is a restatement, ascertainment that it is possible only in the case of an anatma vid. In the case of ajnana. Now he says, atraha, since we have एनलाइज़ ही जस्ट किम आत्मविदा हा सन्यासा कर्मयोग है वो उभय और अपने असंभव हा आहोस्वित अन्यतरस्य असंभव हा नाउ द क्वेश्चन पूरों पक्षी इस क्वेश्चनी व्हेन यू से इट इज़ नॉट पॉसिबल फॉर एन आत्मविद व्हाट इज़ नॉट पॉसिबल सन्यासा एंड कर्मयोग आर यू सेइंग दैट सन्यासा एंड कर्मयोग Annyatarasya asambhavaha. Are you saying one of these two is not possible for an atma vid? When you say sannyasa and karma yoga are not possible. Are you saying sannyasa and karma yoga both are not possible? Or sannyasa is not possible or karma yoga is not possible. One of the two. Aosit annyatarasya asambhava. Are you saying one of the two is not possible? Yadacha anyatarasya asambhava, if you are saying one of the two is impossible in the case of an atmavit, tada kim karma sanyasasya uta karma yogasya asambhava, then you have to explain whether karma sanyasa is impossible in the case of an atmavit or karma yoga is impossible in the case of atmavit. Iti, asambhave karanam cha vaktavyam, iti, and not only should you tell me which, which is impossible for an atma with whether sannyasa is impossible or karma yoga is impossible and why why is it impossible that you should justify you can't just go away by making a statement it is not possible which is not possible and why this has to be explained atra uchyate so that is being answered now <coughs> sorry atma vidaha nivritta mithya jnanatvat Viparye jnana moolasya karma yogasya asambhava syat. So what is his opening statement in response to that question is that Atma vidaha for an Atma vid for a jnani nivrutta mithya jnana tvat due to jnana. What is that? Mithya jnana. The erroneous knowledge is gone. What is that erroneous knowledge? Aham karta aham bhokta. That is nivrutta. Therefore, since Mithya jnana has gone for a atma vid, therefore what? Viparya jnana moolasya karma yogasya asambhavasya. Therefore, the karma yoga which is based on, which has moola, what is the moola for karma yoga? Aham karta, aham bhokta. 
even for karma yoga to drop to uh, drop away the uh, uh, drop away the kartrutva bhoktrutva also later in life for through jnana this fellow has to have chitta shuddhi and he is doing karma yoga this person is doing karma yoga because he has to understand the jnana that i am akarta i am abhokta i am i am a, that kind of an atma which has no kartrutva and no bhoktrutva at all for that jnana he is struggling but for that jnana he has to have chitta shuddhi chitta is for a karta so karta has the chitta who wants chitta shuddhi so therefore to do karma also sankalpa is there that i am doing it for ishwara i am doing for ishwara prasada and i will offer unto the lord for that kartrutva bhav has to be there and therefore vipareya jnana mula vipareya jnana is mula for karma karma yoga karma yoga is not possible without kartrutva bhava therefore that viparyaya viparyaya means it is opposite to the reality reality is your akarta abhokta and karma yoga karma or karma yoga for both viparyaya jnana has to be retained that i am karta i am bhokta it has retained as in one cannot give up actually that's the reason one thinks oneself as a karta and bhokta but what does shastra say that don't do it for bhoga do it for ishwara thereby that karma becomes karma yoga and then you have chitta shuddhi then it will become an instrument for jnana to take place it will become the adhikarana for jnana utpatti therefore uh, viparya jnana through viparya jnana karma yoga has to be done karta bhokta uh, bhoktru to drop you should drop the bhoktrutva but kartrutvam has to be held on to निवृत्त मिथ्या ज्ञान आत्म विपरय ज्ञान मूल से कर्म योग से असंभव सेबिलिटी इट इज इंपॉसिबल फॉर एन आत्म विथ टू डू कर्म योग बिकॉज कर्म योग हेज विपरीत ज्ञान विपरय ज्ञान हेज मूल इट्स मूल इट्स रूट जन्मादि सर्व विक्रिया रहित निष्क्रिय आत्मा आत्म यौ वेत्ति तस्य आत्म सम्यक दर्शन अपास्त मिथ्या ज्ञान से निष्क्रियात्म स्वरूपावस्थान लक्षण सर्वकर्म संन्यास उक्वा तद्विपरीत मिथ्या ज्ञान मूल कर्तृकन पुस्सर से सक्रियात्म स्वरूपावस्थान कर्म योग से इह गीताशास्त्रे त्र त्र आत्मस्वूप निरूपण प्रदेश सम्यक ज्ञान मिथ्या ज्ञान तत्कार्य विरोधा अभाव प्रतिपाद्य यस्मा since abhava is is taught is revealed abhava of what abhava of karma yoga for a jnani karma yogasya abhavah karma yogasya abhavah pratipadyate asma since it is seen what is taught is karma karma yoga is not possible for a jnani karma yogasya abhavah for whom atmavidah who is this atmavid who yah vyakti who knows what does he know janmaadi sarva vikriya rahitatvena nishkriyam atmanam atmatvena yah vyakti one who knows oneself as what atmatvena as oneself how that self which is nishkriya which does not have any kriya so you see you do karma yoga to a jnani he already knows that atma is without any kriya how can karma be possible therefore janmaadi sarva vikriya rahita atma it is it is that atma he knows himself as what janmaadi sarva vikriya rahita chhad vikar rahita it you know it does not have janma it does not have mrityu it does not have growth it does not have decline it does not have a uh, state of remaining as it is it cannot be objectified as a sti therefore all the chhad vikaras are absent this atma is bereft of all these all the janmaadi sarva vikriya all shad vikriyas are not there none of these uh, shad vikaras are there for the atma therefore this atma is nishkriya and knowing oneself atmatvena yah he knows that kind of a self brahmatma as oneself yah vetti tasya atma vidha for that kind of atma with karma yogasya abhavah pratipadyate asmat since karma yoga is not possible 
for that kind of a person, that kind of a jnani. It is taught where? Tatra Tatra, Gita Shastra. Iha Gita Shastra, in this very Gita Shastra, it is taught at every such place, Tatra Tatra, every such place, where? Where Atma Swarupa Nirupana Pradeshishu. Which section? He says Atma Swarupa Nirupana Pradeshishu. In those sections where Atma Swarupa is being talked about, is discussed <coughs> in the second chapter. Samya Jnana, Mithya Jnana, Tatkari Virodhat. Why? Because Samya Jnana is what Jnani has. Mithya Jnana is what Ajnani has. So Samya Jnana and Mithya Jnana and their Karya. What is the Karya? Tatkarya is uh, Samya Jnana Karya and Mithya Jnana Karya. Samya Jnana Karya is what? Aham uh, Akarta, Aham Abhokta. Mithya Jnana Karya is Aham Karta, Aham Bhokta. And they are Virodha. They are, they are Viruddha. To, mutually opposed to each other. You cannot be a Karta and a Karta at the same time. Nor can you be a Bhokta and a Bhokta at the same time. There is Samya Jnana, Mithya Jnana, Tatkarya, Virodha, Abhavaha, Karma Yoga se Abhavaha, Atma Vidaha for an Atma with uh, Pratipadyati, Yasma, since it is. This is the basic construct. Then there are fillers in Janmadi Sarva Vikriya Rahitatvena, Nishkriyam Atmanam Atmatvena, Atmatvena Yo Vetti, Yaha Vetti, Tasya Atma Vida for that kind of a Jnani, Samyak Darshanena, Apasta Mitya Jnana Sya. So this is all Bahuri indicating Atma Vit, in Samana Dikran Vit, Atma Vit. He is a person for whom Mitya Jnana is Apasta. Apasta means it has been, Mitya Jnana has been sublated, it has been negated and through what? Samyak Darshanena. Through the right vision of the Shastras. That I am not a Karta Bhokta. Thereby what? Nishkriyatma Swarupa Avasthana Lakshanam Sarva Karma Sanyasam Uktva. Having taught or having mentioned Sarva Karma Sanyasa for him, for this Jnani, who is what kind of a Karma Sanyasa now? That Karma Sanyasa is that kind of Sarva Karma Sanyasa is Nishkriyatma Swarupa Avasthana Lakshanam. It is characterized by remaining in one's own Swarupa, which is Nishkriya Atma. You are free from any Kriya. If you stay in that, that itself is kar- Sarva Karma Sanyasa. So there are two ways it is interpreted. That Sarva Karma Sanyasa, as in Ashrama Sanyasa, is an automatic result of this Jnana, or being in that itself is figuratively called as Sanyasa. But in both cases, what having said this as a possibility for an possibility or a natural result for a jnani, thereby tadviparita se mitya jnana mula kartrutva vimana purasarasya. That karma yoga, this, for karma yoga, these are the visheshana. That karma yoga which is preceded, purasara, which is preceded by what? Kartrutva vimana. There has to be an individuality as I am a karta and which is, which is possible only where is there, where when there is moola what is what is the moola for this kind of a result kartrutva imana it is mitya jnana so mitya jnana moola kartrutva abhimana purasarasya karma yogasya which is tadviparita which is what this karma sanyasa is tat karma sanyasa viparitasya and what is that karma sanyasa Nishkriyatma Swarupavasthana Lakshana Sanyasa Viparitasya. <coughs> it is opposite, uh, Kartrutva Bhava is opposite to your Swarupa, which is Nishkriya. And thereby, Mithya Jnana Mula Kartrutva Avimana Purasarasya Karma Yoga Sya. What kind of Karma Yoga again? Sakriyatma Swarupa, swarupa Avasthana Rupasya. What is the opposition? One is Nishkriyatma Swarupa Avasthana Lakshana. This is Jnana. And Sanyasa. Jnana is in Sanyasa here. And what is Karma Yoga? Sakriyatma Swarupa Avasthana Rupa. So, Karma Yoga needs you to do Kriya. Sakriya. It is Kriya Sahavarta Tevi Sakriya. Sahabhauri. It is along with a Kriya. You cannot have Karma Yoga without any Kriya. And Sakriyatma Swarupa Avasthana Rupa Sya Karma Yoga Sya. Iha Gita Shastri Tatra Tatra Atma Sarupa Nirupana Pradeshesu Samyajnana Mithyajnana Tatkari Virodhat Abhavaha 
प्रतिपाद्यते अस्मा सिंस इट इज सो देयरफॉर तस्मा आत्मविदह निवृत्त मिथ्या ज्ञानस्य आत्मविदह व्हाट काइंड ऑफ आत्मविद फॉर होम मिथ्या ज्ञान हैज गॉन अवे नो अध्यासा इज देयर आई एम कर्ता आई एम भोक्ता दैट काइंड ऑफ आईडिया इटसेल्फ इज नॉट देयर विपर्ये ज्ञानमूलः कर्मयोगः न संभवति इति युक्तम उक्तम स्यात् देयरफॉर फॉर हिम व्हाट इज नॉट पॉसिबल karma yoga is not possible which has its basis in viparya jnana in the form of i am karta i will do sankalpa i need chitta shuddhi i will do karma for ishwara prasada therefore prasada buddhi is there ishwara arpana buddhi is there uh, by a karta unto the lord therefore karma yoga na sambhavati iti yuktam this is very much tenable it is logical that is what uh, becomes stated uktam syat this is what becomes stated so if you have to analyze i'll say bhagwan bhashyakar says this is this becomes stated what what is the end result of this analysis you are asking me whether karma yoga or sanyasa which among the two is impossible for an atma with and why so he says he has given the reasoning also and he has said that sanyasa is valid karma yoga is not valid for an atma with iti yukta muktam syat and why he has given the answer as to both are opposed ideas karma yoga needs a mula as karta understanding of oneself as a karta whereas atma with does not have that he has nishkriya atma swarupa avasthana lakshana uh, uh, sanyasa is possible for him he has that uh, nishkriya atma jnana thereby only one is possible other is not possible which is possible sanyasa is possible for natma with karma yoga is not possible and why reason has been given so we'll stop here we'll take the next puro paksha and uh, we'll look at the rest of the bhashya in the next part ha huh? om shanti 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 any questions Okay, no questions. I'm assuming everybody has understood. So I'll.